1935. Welcome to the emergency meeting of the New York Tax Cab Union. Here to address some of our most pressing issues. Poverty. Discrimination. Violence. Corruption. Valencia High School presents Clifford Odets Waiting for Lefty. Wrong. I ain't laughing. With a textile strike. Out like lions, in like lambs. It's a trend of the times, that's what it is. And that's why times are right for a strike. We're working day and night just to stand up and show yourself, damn red. Be a man and see what you look hey, like. Lefty? Yeah, where the hell is mine? Where the hell is Let's hear from the committee. Yeah, let's hear them talk. What that red boy's got to say? And you boys know me, I ain't a red boy one bit. <laughs> but we gotta get a living wage. We gotta make up our minds. My wife made up my mind last week. Where's the furniture? They took it away. No one's gone. When? Three o'clock. They can't do that. They can't? They did it. Why the palookas? We paid three quarters. The man said read the contract. Must have signed a phony. I put the kids to bed so that they wouldn't know they missed a meal. I don't have any shoes till tomorrow. She can't go to school. I rolled the wheels off the chariot today. I cruised around for five hours without a call. It's conditions. The second one's rent is due tomorrow. I'd get another job if I could. There's no work and you know it. I only know we're at the bottom of the ocean. What can I do? I'm not God. You got two kids sleeping in the next room. They need food and clothes. But what's stalled like a flipper in the snow? For five years I laid awake at night. For God's sake, do something, Joe. Get wise. Maybe go and strike for better money. One man can't make a strike. Who says one? You got hundreds in that rotten room. The union ain't rotten. They're making plans. <coughs> they don't tell us. That's too damn bad. Where the hell are you going? None of your business. Tell me. Don't you remember my old boyfriend? Who? Bud Haas. He earns a living. Have you been seeing Bud since you got married? Maybe. You leave me with a kid. I'd leave you like a shot. No. Yes? I guess I ain't got a leg to stand on. Tell it to your boss. You don't give a damn about you or me. That's what I say. One man can't do this, Emma. I Edna. don't say one man. I say a hundred, a thousand, a whole million. Get those hat boys together. Start your own union. I'm tired of slavery. I listen, life. Edna. I'm going to go down to 174th Street and, and look up Lefty Custer. You boys know this stuff? We gotta walk out! I got a right to have something out. I don't smoke. I don't drink. So if Sid wants to take me to a dance, I'll go. Look, Mom's taking Ben to be worried to the grave. She don't want that boy hanging around the house, and she don't want you meeting him in Cortona Park. Why are you so set against him? Uh, look, Mom told you. It ain't him. It said he ain't got nothing. Uh, sure, we know he's stuck on you, but that's a kind of wise flow. Taxi cab drivers used to make good money. Yeah, and, and today they're making five or six dollars a week. Maybe you want to raise a family on that? Then you've been back here looking at me and getting around with two families in one. Over my dead body, Flo. Herb, I don't care. I love him. And you are just a little kid with half baked ideas. Don't I take care of mom every night when I come home? Oh. Don't I cook supper and iron your shirt? And you give me a pain in the neck? Be don't try and shut me up. I bring a few dollars in this house, too. Can't you see I want something else out of life? Look, and now there's no time to get married, so maybe later. Maybe but... later never comes for me, though. Why don't we send Mom to a hospital? She can die there in peace instead of looking at the clock on the mantelpiece. That needs right. money, Flo. Money which we don't got. Money, money, money! Don't change the subject! This is the subject! You better stop seeing him! Living conditions, 
I let you walk all over Sit me. down! Who the hell are you making comments like that? I don't want to dudes in this union, that's who's me! I got a Where's right. Lefty? Yeah, Dr. Benjamin, where's your pal Lefty? You elected him chairman, he disappeared. I honest to God don't know. Maybe a traffic jam's got him, but he'll be here. Come in, Dr. Benjamin. They got leads up there in my place. He's operating on Mrs. Lewis. It's my job. I washed up prepared, and at the last minute, I don't mind being replaced, Dr. Barnes, but Leeds is a damn fool. Leeds is the nephew of Senator Leeds. He's as incompetent as hell. Remember, it's a terrible case. Of course. They wouldn't allow for a second otherwise. Do you think it's my fault? I know. I understand, Dr. Barnes. <laughs> I don't mind being replaced, but will this flagrant bit of class distinction hey, just hey, hey, be careful with words like cla class distinction? <laughs> they don't belong here. This question. Ever hear that word? Too radical? Precisely. And someday, like in Germany, it might just cost you your head. And not to mention my job. So they told you. Told me what? Well, we have to tell the staff. That's too bad. Is it a textbook? I'm afraid it is. But I'm the top man here. I'm not saying I'm better than the others, but I've worked harder. to show more promise. You have seniority here. But I'm a Jew. Hey, don't think I'm right for you. Doctors don't run medicine in this country. Men who know their jobs. They don't run anything here. You lost a lot here. I was thinking about going to Russia. Wonderful opportunity to do good work with socialized medicine. But no. Our work is here. America. I'll get some job. I'll keep alive. Maybe drive a cab. Learn my place. Fight. Maybe get killed. But damn it, we'll go ahead. So. What's the answer, boys? Well, some of us boys don't even got a shirt to our backs. This is your life and mine. We're dying by inches, and, and for what? I mean, what are we waiting for? Don't wait for Lefty. Lefty might never show up. Where? Where? Behind the car parts of the bullet his head. You hear it? You hear it? Hell, listen to me, coast to coast! Hello, America! We're stormwards of the working class, the, the workers of the world. Our bones, our blood! And when we die, they'll know what we did to make a better world. 